Prepping the towers with the wires should be fairly straightforward. So I got the wire out of the bundle, out of the packaging. That's out of the Rambo board. And then there's the red and black, which was also in the same package as this. So you have to strip this wire, which seems fairly easy. Just use a, a good sharp knife. Just to, why can't this, doesn't this thing focus? Hang on. All right, well, so use a good sharp knife just to slit the end, you know, about a centimeter. And then pull the, ins pull the insulation off until you see that little string. You can see that string right there, can't you? So now you just grab that string and just start pulling. And uh, it just slices the lining for or slices the insulation for you, just like I've been doing here. So you can see I pulled that string down a bit. And now you can just go right in and peel off the outer sheathing. So I'm going to do that, as the instructions say, to both of those and sort out the wires. Uh, the stuff has to be cut in half and half of it stowed away for a bit. And then, uh, here's the towers. These towers, they're beefy, man. I mean, they're, they're really solid. They feel that like they have a good weight to them. I mean, they're beefy. Alright, back in a mold. And it's done. All the cables have been fed through the center of the T-slot aluminum tubes. Here's the 4 gauge whatever, or the 4 whatever, the other 4 whatever with the other two inside, here's the end stops. So the end stops have been sleeved. Um, so this one's the short one that sort of loops back on itself. I only needed to sleeve a good chunk of it so that the part that comes down and is visible is definitely going to be sleeved. And you really can't sleeve much more than that, sir. I can't sleeve much more than that without really risking a problem. So that's what I did. These ones will be sleeved once I figure out where they actually go. They don't need to be sleeved yet. Um, so now you're wondering how I identify these. Well, that's pretty easy. You can see, sorry, <laughs> you can see there's black, blue, and white. And then down here on the other end, sorry, I'm really bad with my camera out today. I got white, blue, and black. So they just line up with these. That way I know which one's which. Next up is to install the tubes into the proper X, Y, and Z uprights and route some cables. All right. <laughs> and the uprights are installed. That was actually fairly easy to do. The T-bolts, the slot nuts lined up well into the T-slots and everything just went well. All right, let me try and... Uh, Okay, so up at the top we've got the end stop lines that are already sleeved. Uh, we got some wires here and some other wires here. <laughs> uh -huh. Still a lot of wooden parts left. I mean, yeah. Okay. So what's next? Uh, install, uh, assembling, installing, and wiring the top section. All right, well, let's do that. Here's all the parts I need for this step. I have the lower plate for the upper bits. <laughs> tower mount, upper tower mount supports. Uh, three set screws and the spreaders. For holding or the spacers for the upper tower mounts. These just kind of go into um, I guess it screws into here. Not a hole, it's a slot, but that's definitely where it goes. Huh, okay, well that's weird. I wonder why it's a slot. So they, and then it just gets set into here, and then it gets installed up there. You can hardly see them. <laughs> All right. And that's that. Took a little bit of monkey business getting these in there and 
especially this bit. That was a hard press because there's really no slop in here, but you have to spread these pretty wide so you're really pushing and you're you hear a slight crack maybe as it just it reaches its limits. And so that's that. Next step is to install the uh, end switches. About to install the why do I can't I focus? The end stop switches, they go right in here. So we've got the little bag of bolts and nuts. Okay, just uh, shouldn't take too long. And there's the end stop switches installed. Now to put all the T's, the slot nuts in, and then, yeah, and that's the end of that step. All the slot nuts are installed. I've gone back to referencing the original manual a lot more now, not just the second edition, because I don't think the second edition made it quite clear which way to have this plate up, and I accidentally have it upside down. Um... I tried taking these apart. I tried taking these apart so that I could flip it and build it the right way. But seriously, once you get these things together, you're not getting them apart. Not without. I don't know. That's just ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so there's really not a big difference. So I'm just gonna go with it. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> All right. So next up, uh, let's see. Uh, the next step is cheapskate bearing. So I think we're going to call this a video, an episode. And the next step is moving on and putting together a whole bunch of cheapskate stuff. Alrighty, thanks for watching.